Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Skyrim. Will you join me here at home, truly home, at the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary? I do like the Dark Brotherhood. I've been really enjoying this, actually. These have been the most enjoyable quests I've uh, done in this entire playthrough. And I've never done them before. This is all brand new to me. I've never really bothered with the Dark Brotherhood before, so I made a really big mistake there. So, uh, today, we apparently need to do a bit more setup for the assassination of the Emperor with the Dark Brotherhood here. So, I need to go and speak to Gabriella to begin the quest, Breaching Security. And I'm guessing I'm being sent over to uh, Flipping Dragon Bridge, because, uh, yeah, Astrid is not subtle. She just sticks knives in a map wherever I'm going next. Dear sister, I've been waiting for you. Your next contract awaits, as I'm sure Astrid indicated. You know, we probably actually shouldn't all go around wearing matching uniforms with massive, obvious, bloody handprints on the back. Like, that's pretty bloody obvious. This is why we're not doing well as assassins. Also, give me the details about breaching security, please. With the Emperor's arrival in Skyrim now a certainty, his security service, the Penitus Oculatus, will need to begin its preparations immediately. Security is being handled by a Commander Morrow, Astrid and I have devised a plan to break the man, and in doing so, cripple the Emperor's protection. You are to slay the Commander's son, Gaius Morrow, and once he is dead, plant false evidence on his body, implicating him in a plot to kill the Emperor. Okay, why don't I just kill the guy? I could just kill the actual guy himself, rather than just killing his son and plant the evidence. But you know what? Fine, whatever, I'll do it. He is set to leave the Penitus Oculatus outpost at Dragonbridge, and inspect the security of each city in Skyrim. Go there now. Observe Gaius Morrow's departure and follow him. Waylay him in one of the cities and send his soul to Sippus. Once he's dead, plant the incriminating letter on his body and let fate take care of the rest. Oh, and one final thing. Okay. To earn your bonus, do not kill Gaius Morrow in Dragonbridge or on the road. Kill him in one of the other major cities he'll be visiting. There, the body will be discovered quickly, as will the letter implicating Gaius Morrow in the plot to assassinate the Emperor. Do that, and Astrid has authorized me to grant you a rather unique bonus. It is a special token to be given to Olava the Feeble in Whiterun. Olava is an old and dear friend, and a powerful seer. Uh oh. The token entitles you to a reading of your future. It's an opportunity one should not pass up. I've been repeatedly breaking into her house and drinking her blood. Oh, oh! I really shouldn't have done that. I didn't realise she was a dear friend of the Dark Brotherhood. Sorry. Uh, right. So let's talk about the schedule here because Skyrim's pretty big. Where is he actually going to go? Cause you say all the cities, but like literally, can I pick any city in Skyrim if I was willing to follow him there? No. So your best plan is to follow him after he leaves Dragonbridge. However, there is one other option. We know there's an actual written travel schedule, somewhere in the Penitus Arculatus outpost. Securing that would, obviously, be most beneficial. Right. Break in, steal that. Got it. And don't you know about Dragon Bridge? Already been there. Yeah, that's fine, though. Give me the full details on exactly what'll happen. Are we just expecting his father to, like, go mad or something? Killing Commander Morrow would do no good. Someone would merely replace him. No. We need him to remain in charge, but... Distracted weakened. Implicate and kill his son Gaius, and the commander will be grief-stricken and humiliated, his family name ruined. The security plan will then fail. Best yet, the Emperor will be lulled into a false sense of security, thinking an assassination plot had already been discovered and foiled. Hang on, hang on, no, that's, that's all backwards. Let's be clear, if the Emperor's head of security, if his son was killed and there was a letter found his body implicating him in a conspiracy against the Emperor, the first thing the Emperor's going to do is fire and probably have thrown in prison his head of security, because if his son's been implicated, there's too much risk the father might be involved. Of course, you're like, what Emperor would not replace that guy immediately? All right, fine. You know what? Whatever. Let's be on our way. Walk in Gaius Morrow's shadow and deliver to him the judgment of Sippus. So, we'll get on to that today. That's absolutely fine. But first, we've got a little old woman called Agnes in Fort Greymoor, where I've been warned, based on my political allegiance, I may struggle to actually get access to her. Can't remember what side Fort Greymoor's on, so let's go find out, I guess. Here we go. Fort Greymoor. Okay. Very close by to Whiterun, in fact. Uh, yeah, let's head to the Western Watchtower there and just basically walk over there. I always thought that place was held by bandits, actually, but okay, sure. 
I mean, bare minimum, I'm not a kill-on-sight sort of person for either the Stormcloaks or the Imperials. In fact, I'm just kind of, uh, you know, I'm just sort of there. So, if I'm very lucky, potentially both of them will be happy with me just walking in, or maybe both of them on this occasion would be like, you know what, maybe just stay out of here. Though, if this is actually the place I think it is, I'm pretty certain there's actually a uh, back way in through the sewers, so uh, that might be of use. Right, weapons away, let's just head up to the front door. Have a little chat with these people here. See who owns the place. Yep, Fort Greymoor. Fine. Hello? Hello? Does... Does no one live here? Oh, hello. There's... Oh. Right, that does appear to be... Are you just bandits? You're just... Right, you are just bandits. Ah! Wait, I think I know what they mean. You see, if I actually had just... Stop blocking. Thank you very much indeed. You see, if I had handed this place over to, um, yeah, one side or the other, then as a result, that might have caused some trouble. But as it is, it's fine. Because I haven't handed it over to either side. This is just one of those territories that does get taken over in the Civil War, but it hasn't been yet. So right now, it's just flipping, yeah, some basic lads uh, who are just bandits. So that's fine. You seem to be... You know what? I think it's... Oh! I was just about to say, this seems pretty manageable. Then I got beheaded. But you know what? That's fine. Because this means I can just handle this a whole lot more, like, stealthily. Because as I said, I'm pretty confident there's actually a little back route around here. So let's just quickly get ourselves nice and hidden. And just loop around the back. And once we get inside, everything will be okay. I'm pretty sure this is the place anyway. I just get around here. There's like a little sewer pipe or something out the back. Here we go. Fort Greymoor. Fort Greymoor. Nice little water bit out the back here. Right. Here we go. Let's go do this proper like. And now we're nice and inside. Good. Good, 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 good. Marvellous. Now, uh, first up. Needs to get myself, yeah, an aura whisper so I know what I'm going up against. Yes. Yeah. How many people are in here? Looks like six total at a glance, including possibly a seventh over there, because that's... Oh, no, that'll be her right there. Fine, that'll be you immediately there. Okay. Uh, in which case, now let's just quickly get out my vampire sight, like my vampire sight. That's useful. So we'll quickly activate all of this. Go invisible. And now we can just start heading up this way. And this looks like the right direction to go in. So, target number one. Right round here. Let's just quickly get you down. So, you go down nice and quickly. Sneak, sneaks up. Better quickly do a muffle before I go too much further, by the way. Just to make sure everything is as it should be. With that done, back to invisibility. But, I think we've pretty much managed to sneak straight in to where this woman is. Here we go. You just wander around there. And now you just close the door. Uh oh. Close the door and then just assassinate you. And then just back to invisible. She's been killed. What's, she, what's on her that we could... Nothing's on her. And I keep forgetting to not do the invisible. I keep forgetting to not do the invisibility. Screw it. You go down nice and quick. Didn't even need invisibility. It's fine. Stop doing invisibility, then doing things immediately afterwards. It's a bad idea. Right, well, that was a nice, simple way to take care of that. Let's actually, while we're actually here, may as well finish off the guys inside. So a nice, long-lasting one of these guys, and then straight back over to uh, Vampire's Sight. There we go. So a Vampire's Sight as well. Right, so now we know where all these guys are. Invisible. So, we got number one, nice and isolated, over here. So, you can go down now. Just take you out. Okay, next, number two. Uh, nice and over here, if I recall correctly. We saw you right over there. And the other one directly above you. Yep, I think you're mostly on your own here. So, we'll just take you out as well. Lovely. And I think the other two are upstairs, if I recall correctly. That's uh, so just round here. And yep, I think at least one of the others is upstairs. So now we just loop around the outside of you. 
and just finish you off. And hopefully, final one should now be up here as like the leader or whatever. Yep, there we are. Bandit Highwoman. And we'll just quickly slit your throat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This. This is the way to do things, damn it. None of this whole conjuring things and smashing things in the face with giant maces. No. no. That's for mugs. This is the way to do it. Let's also just climb up to the top of the tower just to see what's up there. Because it might be something fun. And we've got... Oh, uh-oh. 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 Okay, apparently you just forgot I was there. Well, that's just bloody convenient, isn't it? Right, we'll just take you out quickly. And just... <laughs> I feel like that shouldn't have worked, but it did. Uh, right, well, apparently this was a perfectly acceptable way to go. Anything up top here? No, nothing major up top. Probably at this point we just want to, you know, see ourselves out, really. Hop here, hop here, hop off the walls. Job flipping done, nice and subtle. But no need to turn that in in a hurry. No, 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 no. What we need to do now is, yeah, big destination. We are heading over towards Dragon Bridge. So we need to get the actual travel schedule as a priority. Now with invisibility that shouldn't be too difficult, but let's start at the nearby Stormcloak camp. Let's not warp in right on top of these guys. Though actually I wonder if in theory, like if I could get them on the road to come in this direction, whether I could somehow lure the Stormcloaks just over in this direction too, so we could actually make them take out each other. That might be kind of fun. Also, how do I get from here back up to the road? Because I seem to be significantly down from the road right now and that's not helpful. Though it is night, that's useful. Here we go, made our way back up to the road here. Lovely, so we can just follow the road along straight down to Dragon's Bridge. It's very, very close by to here. All right, coming up on Dragon's Bridge at night. Good, good, good. Hello, who are you exactly? What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Go home to your mother. Okay, don't cause trouble with you. I think I've run into that random event before, and if you basically say anything to them at all, they basically start attacking you, which I don't really want. So let's not worry about that. Or they brawl, actually, but I uh, don't really want them to brawl either. Right. What do we have going on here? This guy's apparently standing outside right now, by the looks of it. Here we go. Let's see if we can just overhear the conversation. I know you will. All the same. Remember everything I said. Stay alert. When you get to the cities, make your observations and move on. I understand. But you're being paranoid. I'm inspecting security, not charging off into battle. There's not a lot that can go wrong. Son, when the Emperor's safety is concerned, anything could go wrong. Off with you now, and good travels. Right. So there he goes. He's on his way. Let's just see if we can break into here as soon as possible. Because, ah. You hopefully are... Ooh. But you better come back to me. You hear? Oh, Fida. I may travel alone, but you know I carry you always in my heart. I'll see you soon. Right, that might be something we can use against him. We know about his love for Fida now. Now it's night. Does that mean we can just sneak in here because everyone's asleep? Okay, weapons out. In we go, ready to go invisible immediately. If need be, we might need to slaughter a soldier or two inside. Oh, go, 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 go. Go! Right, okay. Now, what about you? Do you need to be... Put to death quickly. Who are you? You're just one of the agents. Fine. Assassinate you. Don't worry about that. Now we just grab the letter. Go invisible. Be on our way. Right. Read the schedule. Uh, you want to adhere to the following schedule. So, Morn Dust. Solitude. Ah. Right. So, he actually does a schedule based on the days of the week. So, the Emperor's Tower in mourned us and then solitude castle dower food and sleep Ooh, well this is all fascinating isn't it yes and wait so you're you're sending an agent of the emperor to windhelm to the palace of the kings to where ulfric stormcloak himself lives and you're expecting him to get a warm response him just poking around saying oh yeah i just want to have a look at all your security like and literally what that's just weird Right, on to Midas, and then, yeah, Riften and Mistvale Keep. Then on Thursday in Whiterun, in the Bannered Mare. Okay, on Friday over to Markarth, Understone Keep. 
and then at the weekend to be spent at your discretion repeat until i've recalled you personally fine so he's going to be on a rotation based on what day of the week it is that's kind of cool now, presumably that means... Ah, hang on. Let's just check the rest of the information first. Uh, guards and yards of the city have been informed of your arrival and will leave you to your work. Study the guard patterns. Examine any entrances and exits. Make note of any irregularities. Talk to no one. Fewer people who even know about your mission, the safer the Emperor will ultimately be. Okay. So we got this. Now, which keeps am I most friendly with? And also, in terms of, like, yeah, when we know about food and sleep then presumably we might be able to know, yeah, where we can actually poison him and whatever. So, ah, but wherever he dies, he's got to die in a place where I can kill him publicly, or rather inside the city for the bonus. But on the other hand, it needs to be somewhere private where I can slip the letter onto his person, the incriminating letter I've got. Now, hmm, what do we know here? Guard Tower, say in Markov, is probably a bad time to get to him. Food and sleep is blatantly where we need to get him here. So, okay, Solitude Castle. So in Castle Dower, he's probably going to be relatively safe, all things considered. However, when he's actually, yeah, the barracks, White Run. This is the interesting one. So White Run on Thursday, he's not going to be sleeping at Dragon's Reach. He's going to get his food and sleep actually inside the Bannered Mare. Now, the Bannered Mare, presumably, that's just going to be quiet rooms where I could just basically get him pretty darn easily, all things considered. That's definitely got to be the easiest option. Yeah, because all the other places, he's in barracks, guard towers, etc. White Run on Thursday. That's that. No, take it with me. Take it the flip with me. Right, there we go. Let's be on our way quickly now. Right, and now we just walk away from that place because a guard has just been murdered in his bed there. Right, so what we need to do now is... Where did he just go? Ah, he is literally on the road right now. Well, let's just go and catch up with him because it would be nice to see what his escort looks like. And also it's... Ah, it's Fred ass right now. So what I want to do really is wait to next Thursday. But screw it, let's just catch up with him and see what his escort's like, just in case I decide or ultimately need to do it that way. So just quickly uh, summon Aardvark here. So, no, Aardvark. There you go, who's a good demon horse? And now don't, don't fall off the bridge, though. It's kind of important you don't do that. Fine. Now we just need to gallop to catch up with him nice and quickly, and we'll just see what's going on, because uh, he can't, like, you know, demand the roads belong to him and him alone. Surely, he's actually got to be, even if he is on the road, he's got to accept that there might be other travellers on the road. And in theory, like, the route he's going down right now, there is a big bandit camp. I think I've already cleared it out in this universe, but if I just followed him around, eventually bandits might actually just get him by coincidence. Though actually, he seems to be travelling pretty bloody quickly. Yeah, way more quickly than I'd normally expect. So this isn't just a guy who's ambling along here. This person's actually kind of, you know, going in a hurry. But screw it, we might still be able to catch him up. I don't know if Aardvark's particularly quick next to other horses, but I'll give it a go. I mean, right now it's Friday, so I think he's spending his time, presumably, trying to get close by to... Hang on, which one's which one was Friday? Can you go, go through... Yeah, you can just go through the river, that's nice. Right, so skip over here. He's... Ah! You're literally going on foot. That's flipping ballsy off. You're fine. Now, if I just actually speak to you, how does that go for me? Hello there, good sir. Keep back, citizen. I have important business I must attend to. That's fair enough, but, you know, travelling alone can be dangerous. Is that a threat? Back off, or by the eight I'll cleave that arrogant head from its shoulders. You know what? I'm just going to leave him alone. So right now it's the weekend where he was basically told he could spend it at his discretion. So, I don't know, he's probably going to go and get drunk somewhere right now. Best thing we can do now is just fast travel to Whiterun and then wait until Thursday. Though actually, while I've got some time to kill, I may as well just kind of travel around the various general stores in Skyrim and sell a bunch of stuff I've got on my person. Alright, done a bit of buying and selling, made a bit of money from all of that, and yeah. What we got right now is... Bannered Mare. The day right now is Lord Ass. Is that is that Saturday or Sunday? I can't remember. Um, I just basically need to okay, just wait 24 hours, and we just need to wait until wait. Is it Tierdas or Thursdas? That's the 
Whichever one is the Thursday one, that's the one we need to wait to. So basically, I'm just going to spend... Okay, that one's definitely Sunday. That one's not even subtle. I just basically need to spend the next four days in the pub getting really, really plastered, presumably. Let this be known as the Great Dragon Bender. Four days and much mead later, it is Teardas, and we are getting close to the moment here. So, just uh, spend a little bit of time here. Right now, it's during the day. So, he's supposed to be here, actually, in Whiterun right now. All right, so he's supposed to be in Whiterun. But right now, he's up in Dragon's Reach, just observing the guards there. So, let's just wait a couple of hours. So, now it's the afternoon. What I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a room here, so I actually have the right to be here overnight. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Right. 24 hours, that's now mine. Beautiful. So, I've got a room. Marvellous. I have the right to be here. Hang on, let's just check which room actually turns out to be mine. And where exactly are you planning to hang out after that? Because presumably, there's... Yeah, this is my room right here. Fine. So, if I own the one room here... Hang on. Where's he planning to actually... Stay, because he's supposed to get sleep here, but there's... Well, I guess technically there's an owned bed here. I guess he just kind of takes the bed of the innkeeper. But to be honest, it's, it's nowhere near as nice as the guest room upstairs. Actually, no, there's um there's more rooms up here, aren't there, where What's-Her-Face, the, um, the woman from Hammerfell, actually speaks to you. So if I had to guess, possibly, they'll shove them up here, because this is like a quiet area back this way. Fine, yeah, there's a couple of rooms over here as well. All right, cool. So he's probably going to be in one of them. But now we just wait. Because when it gets to the evening, he's supposed to be chilling out here. So let's just uh, fast forward a little bit into the evening. Three hours should definitely bring him here or close to here. Maybe, anyway. It's a little bit more time yet. Say, you know, 9.30. That's definitely into the evening. And you pop in the door for a drink. You're not who I'm after. Ah, no. No, you most definitely have popped in. Right, so, you, my good man, are just right here. Sorry, that over there must be telling me to go turn in Agnes's thing. So, uh, yeah, let's have a chat with you. Can we speak to you now? You are trying my patience, citizen. Back away. Now. Fine, so, he's definitely here. The schedule was not lying. Let's just keep our distance for the time being. In fact, you know what? Let's go hang out in the room that I own, because this here... It's my room, so I can just safely watch him from up here, because this is where I'm supposed to be. Now, if we just... Um, excuse me, I didn't actually order you. Uh, this is actually my room actually bought and paid for. You don't just, like, get to... Okay, fine, whatever. Uh, right, let's just move forward a couple of hours. See if we can just kind of make him go to... To bed. Because where are you going to... Sleep, exactly. Because you're supposed to... Ooh. Right. This is interesting. Um, where are you off to exactly? Because, like, your schedule specifically said you're going to sleep here tonight. Okay. Are you actually now setting off to your next destination? No, you're going back inside. Right. That was odd. Why did you come outside then? Now, if we're very lucky, maybe he's turning into that room at the rear. Are you going to sleep? Oh, yes. Yes, 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 you are. Okay. We have got ourselves the moment. Okay. Just wait over here. No one... No, don't come over towards me when I'm blatantly about to assassinate someone. Right, here we go. Right, prepare for invisibility. Go. So, invisible. Right. In we go. Close the door there by breaking invisibility. Go back invisible again. And now, while well, we get a lovely little musical accompaniment from the main room, get him done. And oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Apparently, he was pretty bloody tough. Okay, even a 30x attack was not enough to finish him off. Right, let's just quickly see what he had on him. There, we've got ooh, special armor. Though actually not... Hang on. Might be worth taking. Hang on. Um, hmm. 105 at exquisite. No, that's pretty good, but it's not going to be... Not going to be good enough. Yeah, 14 base. 14 base can't possibly be good enough. But it's not bad. 
It's not bad stuff, I will say. And let's just quickly read the letter from his father. Hang on. Uh, order for the Panita Sokilatus to ensure the safety of our blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we know what you're doing already. That's fine. So let's just quickly steal this letter from his loving father and diddly diddly d. Yeah, we'll have that. And we need to replace that with the incriminating letter. So hang on, incriminating letter here. Yep, just have a quick read of that. So, uh, v hang on, Venwolf? Who's Venwolf? This guy's not Venwolf. Maybe that's a code name or whatever. I agree to- oh no! Okay, the way letters work is of course the person who it's being sent to, the name's at the front. So this is a letter that he's going to give to Venwolf. Got it. Agree to your conditions, and when the Emperor arrives, I will pass along his schedule, arrange for all doors to be unlocked, and any posted security to be conveniently absent for a small period of time. Nothing will stand between your men and his eminence. He will die by Stormcloak hands, and neither my father nor your great leader, Ulfric, will even know anything is amiss until it is too late. Leave the first payment in gold at this dead drop. I look forward to continuing our relationship. Gaius Morrow. Oh dear. That's very incriminating. So we're just going to store that on him. And that should be the job done. You can just stay here. Everything's fine. And yes, indeed, I just now need to get straight back to uh, Gabriella. So weapons away. Door open and then close. No one see the corpse. Everyone fine? Yep, everyone's fine. What? Wait, hang on. Did you just say something about, like, something you told me to do or something? Hang on. Um, Ulfina. Yes. Okay, you just said something about the bard or college or something, but never mind, apparently you don't care. Let's be on our way quickly before the body's found. Now, if I do say so myself, I'd say that was done pretty nicely. Ooh, apparently you want to come see me. Ah, oh, at last. I've been anxiously awaiting your return. Yes, I can tell from your voice work. Yes, I know. As does Astrid. You have done well, and have earned both your reward and a bonus, as I have mentioned. But you should know that we have a more pressing matter to deal with. It's... Cicero. There's been an incident. You should proceed into the sanctuary. I'll let Astrid explain. Oh dear. What exactly has Cicero done? Because I need to turn in the Agnes contract with that guy as well. Just try to relax, Mizar. Let the elixir do its work. You'll feel better shortly. Ah, thank you, dear. You are most kind. The jester's cut feels as bad as it looks, I'm afraid. Damn it, this never should have happened. We knew better. We knew better, and still we let our guards down. Ugh! I'll admit, even I'm having a hard time disagreeing with you. Marrow is dead, I know. But we've got bigger problems right now. Cicero's gone mad and attacked one of your own. Fine, where the hell is he then? The fool went absolutely berserk. He wounded Vizara, tried to kill me, and then he fled. I knew that lunatic couldn't be trusted. Oh, that's true, I'm afraid. Cicero was a little whirlwind, slashing this way and that. <laughs> it would have been funny if he weren't trying to murder us all. Don't forget the ranting and raving. About the Night Mother, how she was the true leader of the Dark Brotherhood. And Astrid was just a pretender. Look, we've got to deal with this situation. You've got to deal with this situation. He didn't stab me, why do I have to go and deal with it? Like, I'm already basically taking point on the whole assassinating the Emperor thing, which I feel is quite important. How about someone else in this flipping guild of assassins takes care of the rest of it? I want you to find that miserable little fool and end his life. But first, find my husband. Make sure he's alright. After the attack, Onbjorn flew into a rage. When Cicero left, Onbjorn went after him. They disappeared into the wild. Search Cicero's room. Maybe there's something in there that sheds some light on where he might have gone. Let me know the minute you find something. I've got to see to Vizara and calm everyone down. By a fool. Okay, search so Cicero's room. How are you doing, by the way? Hush, Vizara. You were very brave. Astro may well be dead if not for you. She's right. I'll be forever in your debt, dearest brother. Now be quiet. Just... just rest. Okay, can I chat to him? It only hurts when I laugh. <laughs> oh. Any thoughts on the current situation, poisoned man? Yes, do not underestimate Cicero. 
A man like that, small and foolish, is easy to mock. To underestimate. Don't make the same mistake I did. I don't know, I get the feeling he really is a little bit on the mad side, but possibly he's very dangerous regardless. Anyway, Until let's move over time, to you, because I've got a thing to turn in. Should have figured the little lunatic would completely snap. Look, Agnes is dead, that's the important thing. Don't worry, my friend. I'll spare you the facetious quip about killing a defenseless old woman. Infiltrating an occupied military fort and making it out in one piece is nothing to joke about. Well done. Your payment for services rendered. It wasn't actually occupied, you know, it just had a few bandits in it. But whatever, you know what, yeah, I truly am the great mighty hero. Now, any more contracts by any chance? Well, yes, two of them. But you're reaching the end of what I have available. Your targets are a dark elf wizard named Malaril in the dwarven ruin of Mazinchaleft, and Helvard, the housecarl of Falkreath. Kill these two, and I'll have one last contract to give you. I'm just finalizing some details now. Okay, interesting. Now, I'm pretty sure I've already been to that Dwarven Ruin. I just can't remember off the top of my head which one it bloody was. He's dangerous. Very dangerous. A rogue Dark Elf mage doing research into Dwarven artifacts should be both respected and feared. Just not by you. Alright, and the other one? He's the housecarl of Falkreath. You know what that means? He's the bodyguard to the Jarl himself, so be careful. Alright, gotcha. Be careful indeed. Now, let's start off by searching Cicero's room, which is presumably the same place that the Night Mother is in. Right, though, which I find it odd that he'd actually run out and, like, leave the Night Mother here, but okay. Well, very, very intriguing indeed. Let's just actually close the coffin, by the way. I don't really like the, you know, whole corpse thing there. I'm just gonna, yeah, that, that's much better. Ah, apparently that's actually not Cicero's room. Cicero's room is... not this one either. That is... Ah! Presuming this is where Babette lives then. Small bed, various kind of dark evil things because she's a vampire. Okay, cool, that's fine. Right, let's be on our way over here. And we have got ourselves Cicero's Journal Final Volume. Suggesting there might have been previous ones I just never actually read. Right, the first bits of the journal are just covering his arrival. We know most of that, no big surprises. The final two entries, Sanctuary, Safety and Salvation, but silent so silent. I give my love to the unholy matron. I give my laughter freely, but I do not hear her. The silence has returned. Now that I am laughter and no longer hear laughter, I once again hear the silence, the silence of the void. It reaches across time and space. Its silence is deafening once more. So the silence might be what kind of drove him mad. And then final entry, Mother and Keeper must go. I am not the listener, and never will be. But I am the Keeper. I must serve my mother's will above my own. I must find her listener. I must teach Astri the error of her ways, the beauty and necessity of the old ways. I have sent a letter to Astri. We leave soon, but Cicero will keep the sanctuaries his sanctuary, a place to rest and ply my trade, for I once more take up the blade and send some lucky souls to him when laughter strikes as fits my whim. Okay, that doesn't seem that useful or enlightening, to be honest, but ah, right, that's because there are indeed multiple other journals, got it. And this is interesting, if we go back to the very first journal, he's a lot more coherent. As I begin this new phase of my life, I've decided to finally keep a journal. So much has happened to me thus far, both within the Brotherhood and without. When I think there is no record of what has transpired, it almost seems an affront to Sithis himself, so I'm determined to make amends. Right, so this was before he went completely flipping mad. I'm just going to skim through these, see if there's anything particularly uh, of interest. So back in these early days, Cicero was actually an assassin who took contracts there in the first of Rain's hand. Uh, completed the Baroness contract, she died well, her handmaiden less so. And he refers to a sanctuary he was living in at the time, Che Dinhal. So what happened to that? And back in these days, there was a woman, Alison Dupree, who was the listener at the time. So there was a listener at that point. Ah, so we know what happened to that sanctuary, just basically Corsairs over around the city it was in. Lost. Fine. Ah, wait, no, that wasn't that sanctuary. That was just a little stopping off point, way rest. So now we have confirmation there were three. In the Imperial, here where he already was in Che Dinhal, and the one in Skyrim. Ah, and don't forget Corinth. Wait, hang on. You said three. 
Hang on, there's... Oh, sorry, Che Din Hal is in the Imperial Province. Fine. So we've got Che Din Hal, Skyrim, and the one over in Elsewhere. And the one in Elsewhere was actually closed by the Order of the Black Hand itself. Fine, so the Brotherhood basically wrapped that one up voluntarily. And at that point, yeah, the city itself was raided, the Crypt of the Night Mother with it, the Listener was killed at that point, fine. So that's the point where the Night Mother lost what was originally her home. And here's an important moment, just after Cicero was named Keeper of the now on the move Night Mother's corpse, his final contract was a jester. My final contract has been completed, oh how he laughed and laughed until he didn't. So, presumably... You stole those clothes and decided to wear them, which is weird, but okay, in honour of the final contract. And as time went by and no new listener emerged, and thus the Night Mother stopped speaking, this is pretty much the point where Cicero starts going mad. And this also explains why Cicero refers to himself in the third person. He now considers that the soul of the jester is within his body, so when he speaks about Cicero, he thinks he's speaking with the voice of the jester describing Cicero's body and function as the keeper, I suppose. Right, so we know a little bit about Cicero's story, and yeah, having uh, read those journals, it's, uh, it's pretty tragic, actually. That's very sad, so, you know, maybe I'll feel a bit more sad about killing Cicero at this point. If we're very lucky, maybe we can pull him back from his madness. Right, Astrid, let's have a chat about all this. Have you found something? To be honest, nothing particularly of interest, but yeah, I've got like five journals of his. Good, good. Does it say where he may be headed? Hmm, abandoned sanctuary in Dawnstar. Ah! Right, sorry, I kind of missed that bit while I was skim reading. Apparently the other one was in Dawnstar. The Dawnstar Sanctuary? Whatever for. Never mind, it doesn't matter. You need to leave. Now. Every moment counts. So I want you to take my horse. His name is Shadowmere. You'll find him outside by the pool. Let's just say he's... one of us. Find Arnbjorn. Make sure my husband's all right. And then, send that jester's twisted little soul to the void, in as many pieces as possible. Sorry, he's a horse assassin? Okay, wow, my quest objective right now is behold Shadowmare. <laughs> That's pretty damn cool. So, um, yeah, did we actually do anything to set Cicero off, by the way? Because the journal doesn't really give us any information about that. No, nothing. At least, nothing I'm aware of. Well, if I'm being honest, I haven't exactly been discreet lately in expressing my frustration with this whole situation. Obeying the Night Mother, you being the listener, it's ridiculous. No offense. Cicero may have overheard me talking to one of the others about the Night Mother. It's possible I was not entirely respectful. But to go this far, to attempt to murder the leader of a sanctuary, Cicero must pay with his life. There is no other option. You see, the problem is, the Black Sacrament, which you do seem to want to honour, like, you only send me after people who have actually done the Black Sacrament. All the Night Mother does is tell you about the Black Sacrament, which you do want to honour. So, doesn't strike me as that ridiculous, really. Okay, fine. Any chance we can just work all this out? Look, the Dark Brotherhood is a family. This sanctuary is a family. And we've always welcomed those shunned by society. Werewolves, wizards, eternal ten-year-old vampires. What does it matter? In truth, I've rarely met a lunatic I haven't liked. Cicero's problem isn't his madness. It's an adherence to an ancient, outmoded way of life. The Night Mother's ways simply are not our ways. He just couldn't accept that. And now he'll have to pay the price. I really feel like we're dealing with a very, very small matter of procedure between the two sides here. Like, you both want to take contracts from people who perform the Black Sacrament. She's just a more efficient way of doing it. Just, like, pretend she's a telephone and it's fine. Look, what do we know about the Dawnstar Sanctuary? Oh, it's ancient. Apparently one of the first sanctuaries in Skyrim. It hasn't been used by the Brotherhood in close to a hundred years. If you say Cicero has gone there, it stands to reason that he's familiar with the place. That means you'll be fighting him on his own ground. Tread carefully. Right, traps. Got it. 
Right, let's go outside and behold Shadow Mare then, because that just sounds badass. And as it turns out... Hello? We've got a little bubbly pool here. Right, Shadow Mare? Is, is Shadow Mare just a bunch of... Okay. Hmm. Shadow Mare is possibly a vampire horse? Not entirely sure. Can we actually ride Shadow Mare at this point? Yep, that all seems to be fine. How fast are you, by the way? You're you're no faster than any other horse in Skyrim, are you? No. No, you're not. To be honest, if I want to ride, like, you know, a really evil demon horse, I'm actually happier with Aardvark. So, thanks for everything, Shadow Mare, but I'm actually good without you. Lovely. You know what? Let's wrap up today by dealing with those other two contracts, and then we'll get on to Cicero next time. Let's head over to, yeah, Falkry first up. And apparently Shadow Mare's just following me around at this point. Shadow Mare really flipping wants to be ridden, damn it. Ignore my blatantly evil horse. Right, now we know where this guy is. During the day he's in here and at night he sleeps in his room in here. So again, night is going to be the better option. So yeah, here we are. So right now he's just up there. Though actually if he's up here by himself quietly right now... Mm, not quite quiet enough. I'm going to assume this is his room right here. Yeah, if there's a flipping steel war axe by the bed, this is going to be his. So all we need to do is wait for night and then we'll just basically sneak up there and do him in his sleep and that will be absolutely flipping fine so 12 hours to half midnight should do the job so nice and quiet everyone presumably turns into bed apart from you you decided this is the point where you're going to not go to bed unless of course your bedroom's actually that side and her bedroom's this side you decided to swap over at this point okay yeah maybe Okay, this all seems good for the moment here. One quick invisibility. Looks to me like he is indeed heading up to bed this way. You're going over there. You're going over here. This all works. Make sure there's no other witnesses. Yeah, nice and quiet. Nice and flipping quiet. Just carry on. Go to bed. Don't just stand in the doorway. That's not helpful. Right, there we go. Right. Through here. Then just let him go to sleep. Close the door. That breaks the invisibility. Get it back up again. And now just prepare for one quick moment here. And nice. 30 times damage. Nice and quick. Right, just quickly go. Ooh, you had a flipping enchanted weapon. La -de da Also, I'll take the key just in case I need that for anything. And ooh, scaled horn armor. That's special. Don't think I've ever actually seen any of that before, if I remember correctly. But screw it. Let's just leave him be. And on the way out, we'll just rob him blind of anything useful. Because there might just be some flipping, you know, money sitting in all his stuff. Yep, nothing hugely of note. Let's just be on our way out of here. Nice and quick and quiet. Daggers away. And on we go. I am a bloody good assassin, by the way. And go on then, let's go on to the more interesting one at the same time here. Let's quickly go on to... Yeah, this here ruin that I've apparently already cleared, but... Yeah, someone has regenerated inside there now. Now, I can't remember under what circumstances I already cleared out this place. Why would I have already come through here? I'm not sure. And once again, Shadow Mirror's just here. <laughs> Shadow Mirror's just going to keep following me around for a bit. Oh, 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 are you actually... Are we actually fighting at this point? Okay, we're fighting at this point. Fight and you know what? I'm gonna leave it to Shadow Mir. <laughs> I think Shadow Mir's got this actually. Let's just actually send in Moira to help out. But uh, I'd like to think Shadow Mir's pretty much got this at this point. Fine. So we're gonna start off in a not desperately subtle fashion. So we'll just get you out of the way. Yeah, good luck. Good flipping luck, by the way. And just go dead. And you've seen off them. And now the horse is just. Oh, the horse is doing marvellously. Right, let's just get these guys down quickly. Dead, dead, dead. And then a few more dead as well. Beautiful. You're a highwayman. You can be dead as well. How are you doing? Okay, Shadow Mate, you're doing a bloody awful job of dealing with that thug. All right? Absolutely dreadful. Right, let's be on our way here. We've cleared out a bunch of the bandits at the start of the front door here. But there's blatantly a few more floating around just yet. Possibly that's one person up top. Maybe. Hang on, where's the other one? Right, I think I just need to recharge this. We've got... Ah! 
It's just a person with a bow or something. Right, well, let's just quickly recharge you. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Soul Trap and we'll just quickly get this guy inside. Not Soul Tear, Soul Trap. Then once that's done, just you to there. And beautiful. And we'll just have your soul, please. Thank you. And that's just a nice quick free recharge for... Oh, no, I think I must have had an empty black soul gem, in fact. Never mind. We'll kind of, you know, we'll get the next person. So is this actually the right... Yep, this is indeed the right way. So back into here. And we've got ourselves, yeah, a mad dark elf alchemist something something something. Who apparently is just going to be protected by a giant pile of uh, flipping bandits. For no well-explained reason. We may as well just kind of, yeah, um, speed for time an hour. Just to get rid of you, thank you. Let's do this subtle-like. In fact, just for some extra added protection, I'm going to slip on the shrouded boots just for uh, free muffling. Now, before we get going, give a quick double aura whisper. And then straight down over to uh, Vampire Sight. And that will do very, very nicely. Indeed. Beautiful. That is just the thing. Now, visibility. Watch out for traps. Let's be on our way. So we've got our first two people ahead of us there. Possibly our first three. In fact, Vampire Sight will let me avoid any of this business. You are... Hang on just a... Oh. Flipping. Get you down. Right. And if I'm lucky, you won't hear that. Because... No, you will not. Down you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is the way to be a badass, damn it. Right. Back invisible, please. And now we just need to watch out for more people. Fine, I see you dead ahead of me there. Don't currently have the actual uh, yeah, business up with any of the rest of it. But if I'm just careful here, we can just take you out nice and quick. There we go. Back invisible, please. Thank you. And whoever this person is, they're not too far away from me. And they're in the same area as this area. So they're not too far away. Back to that, please. Oh, oh. I see you there. Right, we've got one person right here. Actually, you two are both facing away. And we've got ourselves... Oh! Oh, darn it. Bandit. Bandit. No, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, good, good, good. Right. Sadly, you did indeed manage to hear me. But actually, got myself some good stuff there. Just in terms of a grand soul gem. Now, should have cleared out most of these guys by this point, however. Let's just quickly uh, zoom back up to an aura whisper. Nice. Yeah. So, what else do we have here? So, one person there, then one other person, full stop. Fine, back down to vampire sight, please. Quite like that. Right, invisible. Also, there's two things way over there. Don't worry about that, however. We just need to get you down. Ah, you're the bodyguard. That's a-okay. Just get you down nice and quick. And then, everything's silent. Yeah, everyone else is way more down this way. Uh, Adept Lock. Do you have the key by any chance? No, you don't, but that's absolutely fine. Just got to... Ooh, I have the key, in fact. Just stay where you are, please. Ah, I think I remember you. Except I don't remember you being named. Maybe you weren't before. Though, actually, looks to me like you've got no flipping armor. Which is unfortunate for you. Job flipping dumb. Nice. Now, anything special from you there? No, a staff of firebolts, which is uh, not really worth having. Other than that, yep, you were just studying all of that stuff. Good. <laughs> oh, I like being a badass assassin. It's a fun job description. I'm enjoying this hugely. And that is, in fact, your lot. Technically, there's a load more here, but I've already cleared this place out. So we may as well just basically uh, rush out here quick as you like. Check these corpses on the way out, because plenty of them will have all sorts of good stuff. Like, uh, yeah, greater soul gems and all of that business. Good, good, good. Let's be on our way. And would you believe on this occasion, Shadowmere is not actually waiting for me right outside. Blimey. Good, good, good. Oh, no, she's waiting right here. Fine, she just couldn't make it down the flipping steps. All right. And now let's go turn in those two, because he said there'd only be one more after this. One big final one, so I kind of want to know what that's going to be. Hello there, Nazia. Good news, the first person's dead. I hope the elf didn't give you too much trouble. I once got set on fire by a sorcerer. Nasty business, that. But I digress. Here's your payment. And of course, this chappy's dead too. <laughs> Well, that's sure to throw a branch into Falkreath's well-oiled political machine. 
Here's your payment. Well earned, as always. Now, by any chance, what about that last contract? Hmm. Yes. Yes, I believe you are. Very well, then. You need to find and kill Safia, the captain of the pirate ship Red Wave. The ship travels the northern coast and sometimes isn't even in Skyrim at all. So you'll have to be patient. Good luck. Oh my goodness, I need to flipping infiltrate a pirate ship in order to kill a pirate leader. That's the coolest thing. Ah, yes. The pirate captain. A ruthless she-devil, by all accounts. Deadly with a blade. And let's not forget her crew. Loyal and bloodthirsty, the lot of them. This is my final contract, and certainly the most challenging. Be careful with this one, my friend. Oh, flipping K. Oh, I'm so cool with this. And conveniently, the North Coast is exactly the direction I need to go to anyway to get to Dawnstar and deal with the whole Cicero and whats her faces husband's business. Now, please, please tell me. Go away, dramatic horse. Please tell me that they're actually in Skyrim right now. Please, 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 please let it be so. Oh, hang on. Yep, contract. Kill Safia. Ah, Safia right now is right by Solitude. So Safia is indeed present and correct. So yeah, the implication is uh, the ship moves around and sometimes isn't here at all. So right, ladies and gentlemen, I would say that is more than enough for now. But next time we have got some very cool stuff to do. We have got to go catch up with Cicero and this woman's husband. And maybe, just maybe if her husband had the opportunity to not survive, for example, that might work out very, very nicely for me, because I wouldn't actually mind seducing Astrid before we were done with all of this business. So that would work out just flipping perfectly, as well as catching up with Cicero, who we now know has very, very tragic backstory, in fact. So it uh, would be nice to see if maybe we could find a way to uh, get him uh, some peace as well. And most importantly of all, we're apparently swimming out to a pirate ship, infiltrating that and taking out an awesome, terrifying dread captain of the seas. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I tell you what, like, some of the criticism I hear about Skyrim sometimes is, oh, you know, the quests are all samey, you just go up to someone and they say, oh, I need you to get the thing and it's at the bottom of this dungeon. But no, the Dark Brothers have been fantastic. The, you know, there's been really interesting, well thought out, different, unique stuff. Very different to the rest of the game. I've really enjoyed this. This has been, like, the most fun I've had with Skyrim for quite a long time. This has been absolutely flipping marvellous. So, we will crack on with more of that next time, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. This has been Skyrim. Thank you very much, and goodbye. I can also just take this person and make them female. Can I just... <laughs> Perfect! I'm delighted we share the same level of ambition. Complete mediocrity all of the way. And then, oh, oh, the people at the back just kind of popped into existence there for a second. Okay, let's try this again with something else. I'm going to see if we can get Mr. Potato Head into this game.